According to the book of Genesis, Noah and his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, along with their wives, were the only ones to survive a devastating flood that wiped out all of humanity. From these eight individuals, it is believed that every race on earth has descended. The story of the origin of the Chinese race is intertwined with this biblical account. Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, hold a significant place in history as the forefathers of all the races that populate our planet today. Each son, according to varying interpretations of the Bible, is believed to have fathered a distinct set of nations and races. Shem, the eldest of Noah's sons, is traditionally associated with the Semitic people. These include the nations of the Middle East and West Asia such as the Hebrews, Arabs, Assyrians, and Persians. Ham, the second son, is often linked with the Hamitic people, typically associated with Africa. His descendants are thought to have populated the African continent, giving rise to diverse nations like the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Japheth, the youngest of Noah's sons, is linked with the Japhetic people, believed to be the ancestors of the Indo-European races. His descendants are said to have spread across Europe and parts of Asia, including the Greeks, Romans, Persians, and Indians. Each of these three brothers and their descendants played crucial roles in shaping the human race. Their lineages, as per the Bible, spread out across the earth, establishing nations, cultures, and civilizations. But where does the Chinese race fit into this grand tapestry of human history? Which of Noah's sons could be considered the forefather of one of the world's oldest and most enduring civilizations? Now, let's delve into the theories about which of Noah's sons could be the forefather of the Chinese race. There are several theories that seek to answer this intriguing question. The origin of the Chinese race, as related to Noah's three sons, has been a subject of intense debate among historians, scholars, and theologians alike. One theory postulates that the Chinese race descended from Shem, Noah's second son. This perspective is largely informed by linguistic and cultural similarities. Advocates of this theory point out parallels between the Semitic languages, to which Hebrew belongs, and the Sino-Tibetan languages, which include Chinese. They further argue that certain cultural practices, such as the reverence for elders and ancestors, are shared between the Semitic and Chinese cultures. However, a competing theory suggests that the Chinese race has its origins in Japheth, Noah's third son. Proponents of this view base their argument on geographical proximity. The descendants of Japheth, according to the biblical account, settled in the regions north of Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark is said to have come to rest. These areas include parts of modern-day Turkey, Iran, and Central Asia, which are geographically closer to China than to the Middle East, where Shem's descendants are traditionally thought to have settled. Yet another theory, blending aspects of the first two, proposes that the Chinese race could be a mix of both Shemite and Japhetic descent. This theory suggests that over the course of history descendants of Shem and Japheth may have intermingled in the regions of Central Asia leading to the formation of the Chinese race. These theories, each with its own compelling arguments and counter-arguments, offer fascinating insights into the possible origins of the Chinese race. However, it's important to remember that these are just theories, interpretations of ancient texts and extrapolations based on linguistic, cultural, and geographical observations. The truth is, despite these intriguing theories, there is no consensus among scholars. The question of which of Noah's sons the Chinese race descended from remains one of history's most captivating mysteries. While these theories offer interesting insights there is no consensus among scholars. The emergence of the Chinese race is a complex and fascinating story. It's a tale that takes us back thousands of years to a time when modern civilization was just beginning to take shape. The Chinese race as we know it today has roots that go deep into the annals of human history, and its emergence is a testament to the resilience, adaptability, and cultural prowess of its people. One of the distinguishing characteristics of the Chinese race is its distinctive linguistic heritage. The Chinese language, with its tonal structure and logographic writing system, is among the oldest continuously used writing systems in the world. This linguistic uniqueness is a reflection of the early isolation of Chinese civilization which allowed its language and culture to develop along its own distinct path. Genetically, the Chinese race presents a complex mosaic of traits, reflecting the rich tapestry of its history. Studies of genetic markers have revealed that the Chinese people are a fusion of various ancient populations, each contributing to the unique genetic makeup of the Chinese race. 
These genetic markers offer us a glimpse into the historical migrations and interactions that have shaped the Chinese race over millennia. Historically the emergence of the Chinese race is a story of convergence and divergence, of unity and division. The Chinese civilization began with the unification of several cultural and linguistic groups under the legendary Yellow Emperor, around 5,000 years ago. This marked the beginning of a long and tumultuous history that saw the rise and fall of dynasties, the expansion and contraction of borders, and the flourishing of a diverse and vibrant culture. Over time, as the Chinese civilization expanded, it absorbed and assimilated various neighboring cultures. This process of cultural assimilation played a significant role in shaping the Chinese race, adding new layers of complexity to its cultural and genetic makeup. Yet despite these external influences the Chinese race has managed to retain its unique identity, a testament to the strength and resilience of its culture. The Chinese race has also been shaped by several major migrations throughout history. One of the most significant of these was the southward expansion of the Han Chinese which began around 2000 years ago. This migration led to the spread of Chinese culture and language across a vast area, and it played a crucial role in defining the geographical boundaries of the Chinese race. In conclusion, the emergence of the Chinese race is a story that intertwines culture, genetics, and history. It's a story of a people who, despite the challenges and upheavals of history, have managed to forge a unique identity and make a profound impact on the world. The Chinese race, like all races, has a rich and diverse history that is still being explored and understood. The search for the origin of the Chinese race is fraught with controversy and conflicting evidence, this is a journey that's as fascinating as it is complex, and it has captivated the minds of scholars, historians, and the curious for centuries. There are several theories that have been proposed, each with its own evidence and counter-evidence. Some theories suggest that the Chinese race originated from Noah's son, Japheth. This is largely based on historical and biblical interpretations that identify Japheth as the progenitor of the Isles of the Gentiles, which some scholars believe includes the lands of the Far East. Supporting this theory are ancient Chinese characters that seem to echo biblical stories including the tale of Noah's Ark. Some argue that these characters which predate Christian missionaries' arrival in China, signify a connection between the Chinese race and Noah's lineage. However not all scholars agree. Critics argue that the connection between Chinese characters and biblical stories is tenuous at best, and that the Isles of the Gentiles could include any number of regions, not necessarily China. They also point out that genetic studies have shown the Chinese population to have a diverse origin, not traceable to a single ancestor or group of ancestors. Then there are those who argue that the Chinese race did not originate from any of Noah's sons, but instead evolved independently. They argue that the Chinese civilization's antiquity, which dates back thousands of years, suggests a separate evolution from the descendants of Noah. This controversy is, in itself, a testament to the complexity of human history and our enduring quest to understand our roots. Different theories bring different pieces of evidence to the table, and it is through the careful sifting of these pieces that we, as a society, continue to refine our understanding of the past. Despite the controversy, the question of the Chinese race's origin from Noah's sons continues to captivate scholars and the public alike. Our quest for knowledge and understanding is a journey that is as compelling as the destination itself. The origin of the Chinese race from Noah's sons is a question that remains open to interpretation. We delved into the Genesis story, exploring the potential of each of Noah's sons as the progenitor of the Chinese race. The theories of origin we discussed ranged from the conventional to the controversial, each with its own set of evidence and counter-arguments. The emergence of the Chinese race was examined in detail, tracing the potential lineage from Noah's sons. We also looked at the controversy and evidence surrounding this topic, pointing out the various scholarly interpretations and debates. It's important to note that there's no universal consensus on this matter. The question about the Chinese race's origin from Noah's sons continues to be a topic of fervent research and debate. As we journey further into the annals of our shared human history, the origin of the Chinese race from Noah's sons remains one of the many fascinating mysteries that await us.